So tell us why SRS solutions are superior to solutions from your, some of your competitors, such as Dolby or DTS. Um, going all the way back, I mean, the best illustration of this is going all the way back to True Surround, or even back to SRS. A lot of, uh, for, well, first of all, our, our solutions are a bit different than theirs. Their primary solutions are, are transmission solutions, they're codecs. They're getting audio from one place to another. And that's great. That's totally complementary to what we do because when the audio gets to another, to point B, we take it from there. So that's very complementary. But Dolby recently has tried to come into our space and do some of this post-processing, some of this client-side processing. And a lot of other companies have tried it too. So uh, one of the reasons that we've been successful is because we've always based our technologies and tuned our technologies on what they sound like, not on how they theoretically should be constructed. We start with the theory, we start with the theoretical construction, but then we listen to them. And we're audio guys, and we're musicians. And, you know, Arnold Clayman, who invented SRS, was a lifelong audiophile. Uh, my background is as a musician, uh, producing, also producing records and mixing records and, and really listening to music and listening to audio. And at the end of the day, the stuff has to sound good. It could be the best theoretical thing in the world, but it has to sound good. And we've always, at, at, at the end of the process, listened very carefully to what we were doing. We've also taken into account real world customer use cases. Like TrueSround is a great example. There were, once we developed Chooseround, there were a number of other companies that tried to do the same thing, at least two or three other companies. And all of those had an extremely tight sweet spot. You couldn't get the effect unless you locked your head into position. Arnold and I developed Chooseround from the very beginning to create an immersive sound field over a wide sweet spot so that more than one person in a home theater situation or watching a TV could actually hear the effect. Because that's the use case. You don't have just one person with their head locked in the middle of the, you know, staring at the screen with their head locked in position. And it turned out that from a technical evaluation standpoint, at the very beginning when we were all vying for market share, it was that one feature of Chusra that actually allowed us to, to take the majority of the market. So it's a combination of really understanding what the real world use cases are and listening saying this this may be theoretically right but it doesn't sound good we have to make it sound good and everything that we do sounds good <laughs>